how to make your cereal box tutorial. So I went through step by step. There's even some of the, some of those examples down here and of how we're going to do this kind of everything you need to know. If you don't understand what to do, please look at these. So right here, click on this link to save the cereal box template. I saved the template. You guys click on this and watch the bottom of your screen. You've got this template. Do you see that? Do you see it pop up down there? All right. So this is what we're going to use to kind of set up this website called Be Funky. We're going to use the website Be Funky to edit our cereal box cover. Be Funky is an awesome and free online photo editor. So click here to open up Be Funky. So this is what it looks like. Okay. And we can close these little pop-ups. So let's go back. Now that you're on Be Funky, click the three little lines in the upper right-hand corner and select Sign In, then use Google and select your school Google account. This is super duper important. So this, it's going to save it as long as you're signed in with Google. It'll save it. You come back tomorrow, all day, you know, each day this week. You can log in and keep working on it. It'll save it. So we're going to go to Be Funky, click the three dots in the corner, go to Sign In. We're going to choose Use Google, and you're going to choose your school Google account. You may have to type in your password again. Don't forget to put a capital GW in front of your school password. So we can close this. Now we're signed in. You'll see right up here, she's got an account. So there's your account. So now we continue to the next step. Now that you're logged in with your school Google account, at the top of Be Funky, select Open, then select Existing Project Computer. You will now open this, you will now open and select the cereal box template in your downloads folder that you downloaded in step one. This will set Be Funky up with a template that is the size of a real cereal box. Now you're ready to start making your cereal cover. So just go up here to the top, go to Open, Existing Project, Computer. Go over here to your downloads on the left. There's the cereal box template. I click that and now you have it. Did you guys see that? So we're going to keep going. Right click on this Kellogg's logo and choose save image as so you now have a Kellogg's logo to put on your cereal box. It even has an invisible background. So if you right click on it and go to save image as and just put it in your downloads, it says Kellogg's logo, we'll save it. Okay. And be funky to upload images you save from Google or anywhere else, select image manager on the left hand side of the screen. It's at the top, it says here. Now select computer and you can upload the Kellogg's logo you just downloaded or any other image. Let's say I'm going to do the Transformers one. Okay, so I'm going to go over here first. We're going to upload over here on Image Manager. Do you guys see it at the top? It's like right up here. Okay, we're going to go to computer and we'll go to the Kellogg's logo and it's over here in our images. So I'll show you how to add that over here in a second. Next, I'm going to let's do another Transformers box. So I'm going to open a tab, and I'm going to type in Transformers logo. Okay? And let's go to Images. And one of the things that I like to do is um, if you go to Tools, you can go to Size and choose Large, and you'll get big, large, like high-quality images. And I'm going to use this one right here. Boom. Click it. Right-click. Let's save that image as. So I'm going to call it Trans TF logo. So I know it's the Transformers logo and I saved that. Did you guys see that? So now let's go back over here and look at the, we'll save that. We'll come back to it. After uploading the image to be funky, click on the image and choose add as a layer to add it to your cereal box. This is the same way you add any images you upload to be funky. So, if I, if I go over here, do you guys see this next one that says customize? Let's change the background color. See background color? I'm going to make it blue. Let's go back to image manager. I'm going to add this as a layer. Just click it. Go to add as a layer. And it adds it. You resize it. You drag it around wherever you want. Notice it's got an invisible background. We have Kellogg's on it. All right. So next, to create a title... 
or other cool fonts, use the website Flaming Text. We've used that before. Now I'm going to say, I've got the Transformers logo. I'm going to write the word serial. And if I just type in like serial, and we're going to get started. It doesn't matter which one I choose, okay? Because I'm going to go to edit logo. They have so many fonts. Some of them are like, you know, famous brands. But I know if I put in like Transformers, they have one. It was this one. That's kind of the Transformers like um, font. I am going to change the color maybe to a blue. Let's do maybe a light blue. Uh, we'll go more blue. And we want to make the background invisible. I go to image or go to next. We can go all the way to the end where it says done up here. And we're going to download that. You can write whatever font like you can use. You might need to write the name of your serial. You're not always going to have maybe a logo like that. But so I have um, I downloaded it down here. It's called cool logo. So here's where things get fun. So to remove the background from any image, use the web. Anyone use this website, Remove BG? Have you used that before? So if you look at this Transformers logo, it actually has a white background. If it was checkerboard, that means it would be invisible, but it's white. And I want to get rid of that. So I'm going to go to this Remove BG. And you just upload an image. And I'm going to do the, I called it TF logo right here. And it automatically removes it. You'll see it takes a second. Now watch this. If I go to edit, I don't know if you can see up in the corner, it missed a spot. So if you go to edit, you can kind of zoom in here and see how it missed the T. Just go to erase and restore. And I want to restore that black. I can make the brush size really small here. And I can just kind of fill it back in. So if you ever notice anything weird, you can erase it or restore it. Like if I, if, if I erase this, look, it's going to like erase it, but there's undo. So I'm going to hit download when I'm done. Download the image. So let's go back to be funky. I'm going to add computer. I'm going to go up here to the TF logo removed preview. Now look at it. I'm going to add the layer. And we have this boom. Transformers. It wasn't perfect up there. There's a little white. So we have transformers. And now look over here. I can do like a border around it. Um, you know, you can put a border around this image. What if I made this like small? This is the outside of it. And I could put like a blue border around it. Arrows to move it around. Let's go back to image manager. Remember where I wrote the word serial? I'll add computer. I'll go to the cool logo. We'll add the serial, add as a layer. I can just click on it. You can drag it. You can make it bigger. It's got an invisible background. Boom. So we have transformer serial. Now I want to find a character. So I'm going to go over here and let's say that I do like um, Optimus Prime. Let's do Bumblebee. Bumblebee transformer. I'm going to find a picture. Let's say we did this one. And I want to remove the background. It's black, right? So I'm going to right click, save the image as. And we're going to save it in downloads. And we're going to call it BB. I'm going to go back over here to my background remover. And let's just do a new one. Look up here at the top. Or just click remove BG. Let's do a new one. I'm going to upload it. It's called BB. And look, it removed that background. Let's download that. Let's go back to my serial box. I'm going to insert another image here. BB, remove background, add as a layer. And now we're getting there. It's getting kind of cool. We can make it like the logo. See how that's marked off there? So we could do something like this. And we are having some fun. So let's say I want to add a cereal bowl, okay? I'm just going to go over here, and you could put in any kind of cereal. You know how most cereals, they basically look the same. 
you know, Fruit Loops. There's like five different names for something that looks like Fruit Loops. So I could just say like, what if I did like um, Corn Pops cereal, but oh, look right here. Click on it, right click, save image as. We'll call it cereal. Go to BG remover because it's got a white background. So we're going to go back. We're going to go up here to, you know, upload an image. We called it cereal. It does a great job. Boom. Download it. Go back over here to your um, Be Funky. Let's add another image. We're going to go to cereal, remove background, add it as a layer. There it is. Look what we got here. We are, it is coming together. Okay. And let's say I want to move everything up. If I hold control and just like click on all these, I can select them all at once. I want to get that, you know, like these two things, I can select them and I can use my arrows and kind of move them all at once if I want. Here's the serial logo. Here's this dude. We move him back up. Are you guys getting the idea? So finally, I want to say like, let's say I want him to be in front of the bowl or the bowl behind him, right? Click, go to, you know, layer order and bring him forwards. And you can see that he just went in front of the bowl or I can click on the bowl layer order, move backwards and hit it a few times. Oops. And it should go, oh, I want to move forward. I mean, it's already behind it. Layer order, move forward. Oops, wrong one. There we go. There it is. So I can put it in front of or behind. Okay. So you need to add, if we go back here to Canvas and you look right here, the requirements, there's a couple more things we need to add and you'll be done. So right down here. You're going to see that you need to have a promotion, like a free prize or a free item inside. It should have text explaining nutritional value where you could say, hey, more fruity flavor, super sweet. You need to have how much it weighs, and that's easy. You can just copy this down here, and you can go to Be Funky and just go down here to text box and just pick one. I choose this, double click in it, and I'm just going to paste that. This is the average net weight of a cereal box. I'm going to click on this, and notice you can highlight all this, guys. You can change the colors. You can make a little background behind it. So we can make it kind of a bluish background behind it. I could resize it, make it a little wider. Boom. And then you can drag this and put it down in the corner or something. So now we have the net weight and there's shapes over here. So I'm going to add a graphic and I could add like a box. We could move this. This is where we can type like there's a toy or something. And I'm going to add text here and I'm going to say free keychain inside. Now notice that I need to make this a little wider so that word fits, make it smaller. I could put it over the white so we could see it. Now I could go over here and find a Transformers keychain, which I'm sure there is one. And save image as. Save it, remove the background. Are you guys getting it? And of course, I'm going into a lot of detail since we're I'm filming this, but download it, go back to be funky, go to the top, add a picture of it, add as a layer, and you could put this little keychain up here. And really the other thing I need is um what the flavor of the cereal is and you guys and any nutritional value 
So if you go down here and look at the example, so I need to say, you know, 10 essential vitamins or more fruity flavor. And I need to add what the cereal is. So to add what the cereal is, I might just go down here to text and I might just add another heading and I might just say um, peanut butter pops or something. I don't know. Click on this. Let's make it wider. And move it. I could stick it right up here. Make it a little smaller. Now I could go to the background. I could add a color behind it so we can see it better. You know, maybe I do the white. I don't know how you do it. It's just a series of layering things. The only thing I need next is something about flavor. So I could just add maybe one more shape. Maybe we add a little star. I put it right here. Maybe I add a text box over it. And we can click off of that. We can make this smaller. I can drag it down here. Maybe I fill this in with a background color and we choose a blue. And I make it a little smaller. Make the text white. Hold on. Watch this. Just hold on. When I save this, when you want to work on it tomorrow, you go to save, save as project. And you save it to be funky. And I click save. And that's how you're going to make your cereal box. When you come back tomorrow, you go to open, be funky, and you'll see your project and you can keep working on it.